Hello and welcome to episode two of Why I Love Celibacy. Today I'd like to share with you um, a pretty fun story from when I was on one of my uh, pre-ski vacations out to Colorado. But first I want to give you a little bit of a background um, about our faith. So we of course are referred to as Roman Catholics, um, but there are other rites in the church. So we are Roman Rite Catholics, but there are Eastern Rite as well, um, Greek uh, as well as Ukrainian Rite, Eastern Rite churches. Now in the Roman Rite, we are celibate. Priests are celibate. That's been a long-standing tradition. Um, but in the Eastern Rites, uh, priests have always been able to be married. It's not, um, it's not their normal practice. Again, since the beginning, um, they allowed their priests to be married. So, let that be a little bit of a backdrop about the promise of celibacy. Uh, again, it's not something imposed, as we talked about last time, but it's a choice. And in the Roman Rite Church um, that we belong to, uh, we practice it as a part of the choice that every priest makes. So, on to the story. So there I was, sitting in small town Colorado at a nice German-style pub, eating German-style sausages and a whole pint of bi soda. And my priest friend and I were sitting there and we were just talking, enjoying sausages and soda. Um, and there was a group of four young people seated next to us and we noticed that they were speaking um, a different language and we were like, huh, I kind of wonder where they're from. And we had both sort of thought, well, they, they sound Polish and well, there's a lot of Catholics in Poland. So yeah, maybe we'll talk to them and, and see where they're from or whatever. So we struck up a conversation to see where they were from. Um, and it turns out they were from uh, Ukraine. And so as we got to talk to them more about what they were doing here, they were at ski vacation or what they did, um, then they started asking us questions. We weren't dressed like priests at the time. Uh, we were in our ski, ski gear and everything. So they started asking us, well, where, where are you from? And we told them, and what do you guys do? Uh, and we said, well, we're, we're priests. And they said, well, what kind of priests? And we said, well, Catholic priests. And they said, oh, well, you know, we're, we're from Ukraine, um, and we know priests in our church as well. And we began talking because my priest friend and I knew uh, that Ukrainian Rite Catholics allow their priests to get married. Um, and so we were sort of talking about these different things. And, and these Ukrainians were very interested in us because they knew that we couldn't get married. So they started asking us questions and they said, well, our priest back home has a wife and three kids, so, so you guys don't have any family. And so we started talking to him about that. And one thing I'll, I'll never forget is, number one, they had spoke about um, a couple different situations where they, they sort of saw the, the priest with his family and, and how it helped out his priesthood, but they also spoke very bluntly and honestly about how they oftentimes didn't necessarily feel comfortable reaching out to them because they knew they were busy with family. They knew they had a wife and kids. And so, um, yeah, they didn't always reach out to them because they knew, hey, this, this guy has a family to take care of. That is his main responsibility. And then when they were talking to us, they thought this is an incredible thing that was kind of confusing to them even. But they were so fascinated with it. And I remember thinking to myself, huh, yeah, I guess celibacy is really fascinating. <laughs> but it's been a part of my faith for so long, I sort of took it for granted. It was a pretty cool thing because in particular, it reminded me of how much my life needs to be a gift. And I remember thinking one time when somebody had asked me, like, if you were a priest and let's say the Pope decided that priests could get married uh, in the Roman Rite, would you get married? And I remember thinking to myself, I don't think that I would. I don't think that I would get married because, uh, and I remember the person asked me, well, well, why not? Why wouldn't you get married? Don't you want a wife and kids? And it's like, yeah, I do. Wife and kids is pretty awesome. However, I recognize that having a wife and kids, that takes 100% of time, energy, effort, and emotion. Um, and priesthood, what I want to give to the parish family, what I want to give to people, uh, takes 100% of my time, energy, effort, and emotion. And so if I try to do those two things together, 100% and 100%, yeah, something's, something's going to have to give. And these Ukrainians at this German-style pub reminded me of that when they spoke about their priest and he was a good guy and his family did help him to live out his priesthood, but they also recognized that he had a main responsibility in his life. His family needed to be the main responsibility. And they were fascinated about us because they saw us as making our primary responsibility, everything, all of our time, energy, effort, and emotion, because we had chosen celibacy, was our parish family, the people in our parish. And so those were the people we gave everything to. Those Ukrainians were pretty great, uh, and they really sure did enjoy their their soda um, quite a bit, and it was a great conversation. So they reminded me of how, yeah, how special celibacy is, and how much of a gift it is because of the gift that I can give. 
Please join us for our next video, uh, episode three, as we continue to dive further into the gift and mystery of what celibacy is and why I love it. God bless.